What is clay? Um, I don't know. Clay is particles of decomposed rock combined with water to create a plastic, malleable body, which is then fired in a kiln to fuse the particles back into a stone-like state. What are the types of clay? There's adobe. There's clay dough. Incorrect. The types of clay are... High fire. Low fire. And red clay. What are the stages of clay? Well, the stages of clay are... The stages of clay are plastic, other hard, bone dry, slip, and bisque square. So what can you make of clay? I would make a dragon. Correct. You can make anything with clay. As you can see, the possibilities are endless with what you can make with clay. As you can see, there's vases, some pinch pots, even texture tiles. You can make anything that you put your mind to. I just finished scoring, and now I'm going to dip my finger in the water and use that as slip. Now I'm going to stick it on, and as you can see, it fell right off, so this does not work. As you can see here, Kyle is using regular slip, and he's just going to apply it to this end of this clay, and also to the other end, and he's going to stick them together, and notice how they don't fall apart immediately. This is the correct way. Make sure to always hold your pencil at a 45 degree angle, like this, or else it'll snap. As you can see here, this is exactly how not to wedge. <laughs> and here you can see Kyle, he's wedging the clay perfectly. Just look at that form. Wow, so amazing. Make sure to spray your clay and put it in a plastic bag overnight, or else it'll dry out and you won't be able to use it. All right, so Kyle is now slamming out the clay into a block. We're getting ready to roll it. And this is the start of the process for the vase. As you can see, our clay is pretty plastic. Now we are in the rolling process, and remember, always roll out, never roll in. You want to make sure you get that nice and flat, not as flat as a pancake though, because that's too flat. You need a little bit of a uh, whip there. As you can see, we're now down to the end of the rolling process. It's getting uh, flatter now not rolling out nearly as much. As you can see, not too thick, not too thin. So now we are in the cutting process and he is cutting out the slab for the V's. As you can see, he's keeping it at a 45 degree angle. Doesn't want that pin tool to snap. Making as straight lines as possible. But now I just gotta pop it out. Look at that, clean cut. Alright, so we are still in the slab process, and Kyle is now cutting the 45 degree angle on the ends. So that way we can slip and score the vase together. As you can see. Nice 45 degree angle on the end. And now he's gonna score the ends so that way we can uh, put it. And now he's just gonna score the ends of the slab 
so that way it can apply slip easily. Get some nice deep cuts. And as you can flip it, just do it on the other side too. Tony, you're all top. And now he's applied the slip. So that way we can stick or form the vase. Now, we're gonna stick it together like that. Nice and even. And then you just smooth that out so it doesn't look rigid. There you go. He's done smoothing out the vase. As you can see, the line that was there at the beginning is completely gone now. See the inside. So now Kyle's just cutting out the outline for the base of the vase. He's going to keep the pin tool at a 45 degree angle while keeping it tight to the vase. So that way we get a nice even base. Now we should carefully take it off. Now the base will go on the base. You can slip and score it. Take some slip. Did you hear that? <laughs> I'm just gonna put that where he slipped and where he scored. <laughs> now he's gonna put the mug, I mean, the vase. <laughs> He's gonna score the bottom of the vase. He's gonna attach it to the base. Just like that. Attaches it on. Now, just gonna smooth that out. As you can see, he smoothed out the base, so that line is not there anymore. Now, we're gonna add our attachment to the base. Just a simple little circle. Perfect circle. Very nice, a little thick. I'm making a smiley face. Now he's cutting on the other eye. It's kind of bad. So we're gonna make a smiley face inside of the mug. And now we're cutting out the smile for the smiley face. Always keeping it at a 45 degree angle. And now we just have to score it, and apply the slip, and then stick it on the vase.
<laughs> now he's scoring the vase to add our attachments. As you can see, attach the eyes. As you can see, there's our attachment. Little smiley face guy. And there you have it. There's our face.